Hi there YouTube, welcome back to my channel Kings Down Roots. I'm Matt Rideout, R-I-D-O-U-T, and today I'm going to be talking about remote luggage. I used this remover last week when I went to Cannes with some friends. Now, I was kind of super excited to take this because A, I've been waiting for years and years and years to have a remover. Uh, secondly, I was excited to go on holiday because who doesn't want to go on holiday? I packed all my uh, belongings really uh, super early, uh, made sure I got everything in place. I would say that I did find it a little bit difficult to close the case. You have to kind of line the sides up really well, otherwise there does seem to be a tendency to make it very difficult to actually lock the remote, um, which I was super worried about because the sales rep in the store told me that if you didn't lock it in a certain way, then actually you could break the bags. I didn't want to break it. Um, so it did take me a bit of time to get used to how to pack, which I know, I know sounds really, really silly, but if you purchase uh, kind of a material bag and you always have a bit of flexibility and typically you will kind of fill up the bag from the bottom and close the top rather than having to fill two sides and close it together so there is a knack of, of actually firstly packing your bag but the second thing I noticed was uh, the wheels actually the bearings in these wheels um, they are super smooth they don't make a sound when you move them and they just glide through uh, any airport terminal any kind of lobby in a hotel uh, or even the pavement. They are very quiet, they feel very, very smooth, and you can almost kind of push the bag uh, and let it kind of go and do its own thing. So when you're typically in an airport or you're traveling in any capacity, what you normally do, and you don't really realize this with a normal bag, is that you actually go in the bag quite a lot. For me, it will be, so for security, it'll be putting my headphones away, it might be to uh, grab a jacket if it's cold. There is no zip, there are no compartments with this, so it is a little bit awkward. What I would say is in front of my whole friends, I spent a lot of time in my case wide open, uh, and everyone can obviously see what's inside your case when you do this, so a little bit of privacy is lost there, but I guess it's a small price to pay. If fitted into the compartment above the airplane really well, uh, no problems with that. Obviously you have to find space before you can do that and there was no problem when, when we went on holiday. I would say in the first use I have already got some scratches and some wear in this. Uh, the biggest piece or the biggest sort of scratch you can notice is here which is a, a bit of a black uh, scratch on the handle which was a bit of a shame because it's quite noticeable you don't want these remote cases to be pristine all your life but you don't really expect there to be big scratches in the first use um, especially as I was quite careful with the case so just a word of warning these things will scratch and they'll scratch easily if you're looking to keep it pristine or in pristine condition probably don't take it on holiday just leave it in your house and what's the point of that <laughs> There are two of these kind of nice um, styled protectors on each of the sides, which can be removed if you want. It's, it's relatively easy to take these off, but super useful for A, dividing your luggage inside the, the bag, but also for keeping in valuables. There is a zip on each side too, which is super useful to have. It also comes with a few stickers, which you can put onto the case if you like. Uh, Ramoa actually had a book of stickers in the store, which you could purchase for I think it was about £50. I would like to put stickers on my case. I've even got my first sticker from my holiday last weekend, which was in Cannes. So you can see that I've got a little Cannes sticker here, my first addition to my case. Uh, the rest is pretty much standard. You have, uh, you have two handles. You have one on the side and one on the top. Both have spring action, which means that they uh, kind of move back to their original position. They feel very sort of heavyweight. It feels like they're gonna last a long time. Hopefully they are. Um, I've also got the, uh, the standard kind of handle extender, which you'll get in any kind of cabin case. On the side, you have the two security locks, which are combination locks. Uh, it's really easy to set the, uh, the codes. The styling is very basic. You've got these kind of, um, you've got the metallic, Aluminium look. You've got the remote badge right on the front, and you've got the kind of the, the, the kind of pins or the the nail style effect around the top and the sides, which cost 820 pounds, which is a big investment, but something which is uh, hopefully going to last a long time. There's a five-year guarantee with the case too, so in theory you've got five years minimum use of the case for that cost. It comes with this uh, this cool little pack uh, that has a lot of information about who remote are. Um, when I actually purchased, um, the sales representative said that I could actually take this, which is a, um, 
a Ramoa leather um, tag back to the store at a later date and get my initial stamps in it, which I thought was a nice touch. So in conclusion, this is a bag which I purchased. Hopefully it's gonna last me a long time. It looks great and is, is actually quite nice to use. Um, and yeah, it looks amazing. So why not purchase it? Anyway, thank you very much for watching my video. I've been Matt Ryder. This is Kings Down Roots. Um, goodbye. <laughs>